The first thing I'm going to do is export everything into a single package. So I'm going to right click on the top folder, export package, make sure we have everything and the dependencies, export. I'm just going to export it into my desktop, exported all. Once you're done exporting, I'm going to quit and open up the Unity Hub and I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to create it in the desktop for now. I'm going to call it New Lightweight Render Pipeline Project. And in the template, I'm going to choose the Lightweight Render Pipeline as a template. Create Project. So once it finishes loading, we now see this sample scene that uses the new render pipeline. I'm just going to click on play just to make sure that everything looks good and works fine. Now I'm going to go to assets and import the package that we made here, export it all. Let's import everything. Once you're done importing, I'm going to go to my tutorials scene. Let me rename some of the folders here just to make everything clear. So RB characters and RB scenes. I don't need a sample scene inside this one. We can no longer use the standard shaders, so I'm going to get rid of all of these old assets that we're probably not going to use. Barbarian, bodyguards, boxo, minimalist. I think we can delete them all. I'm now going to create the new materials for the new render pipeline. Go to character control, find the old materials. Okay, I'm going to go in there, duplicate them. I'm going to rename them, LWRP, LWRP here as well. Let me create a separate folder. Again, I like to organize things, put them in there. And instead of the standard shader, I'm going to pick the lightweight render pipeline and pick on lit. Same thing with the other material. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the character control and drag in the body and the joints and click on switch. So now we see the material, except the color isn't right. So let me change the body back to yellow. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with the other materials. Okay, LWRP, move the files, rename them. and switch from standard to lightweight render pipeline. Looks like the color changes when I do so, but I'll just change it back. Okay, go to the character control, drag in the parts, because we're going to use the material changer. Switch. Okay, looks good. And I'm going to apply. So the other character change as well. And I also want to apply the yellow character. Okay. I'm also going to change the lighting. We're missing a skybox. I think this is a skybox for the lightweight render pipeline. I think the intensity is too strong. Okay, that's I'll just make it one. That seems about right. And I'm going to change 
into subtractive. Let me also create a material for the background. Create a folder, RP environment. And I'm just going to create a temporary material. Temp ground. Okay. Drag it into the cubes. And it looks like everything is rendering fine. Let me change the colors here. I want it to be darker. Fix it a little bit. Okay, looks good. Save the scene. I want to change the position of the main camera. So move it around. Right click and WASD. This seems about right. Click on the main camera. Control Shift F. Okay, let me click play and make sure that everything works fine. Okay. I'm going to adjust the materials a little bit. Okay, I think it looks all right. It's hard to tell the difference with these assets alone, but theoretically we should have better graphics and better performance. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.